Hi everyone, Zach from Out There Vans in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today we are going to do a quick walk around of this epic product behind me, the Yakima Major Shady 270 degree awning. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start this off with what exactly a 270 degree awning is. Note that this is a GoFast Campers platform camper that we're currently looking at. Uh, this 270 degree awning is this unit up here enclosed in this nice black vinyl waterproof cover. As we extend this awning out, I'm going to undo a zipper lengthwise of this casing. Then I'll unbuckle the Velcro on the inside and I will be able to extend this awning 270 degrees all the way around to the back corner of the opposite side. This extends out to provide you 80 square foot of coverage, protection, shade from the weather above. The Yakima Major Shady is available right now online, not currently on shopoutthervans.com. However, I will throw an Amazon affiliates link down in the description below. We do get a small kickback if you do shop using that link and it helps us out a ton as a small business. Now, this awning, as I said, is mounted to a GoFast Camper. Uh, this is currently mounted using GoFast Camper's billet awning mounts, three of them in fact. This awning weighs about 46 and a half pounds. As you open up the box from Yakima, they do provide you with two very large L brackets. That does allow you to mount it directly to any Yakima existing uh, crossbars or roof racks, etc. cetera. Uh, and it is meant to be able to fit a variety of factory crossbars as well. Uh, so it does open up a lot of possibilities for how you're able to mount this awning. Um, however, on the back side of the entire length of the casing of this awning, there are two T-tracks for you to be able to fit a variety of rigs um, of all shapes and sizes. Taking a look at this major shady all extended, one of my favorite features about the Major Shady 270 is its ability to be a freestanding awning. That is an epic offering for this much shade. As we come on the inside, however, you will notice there are actually two legs that are folded up along the interior of these bars. You just swing them out, give them a twist to loosen them up, extend them and tighten them back up. There are two legs available for your extension on the far legs. There is additionally a slot if you wanted a third accessory leg on this first arm um, that you can store up here as well. It's not included. I don't see a huge need for it as it's a pretty sturdy platform, but it's there if you need it. With all awnings, I always like to edge on the side of caution, even if it is technically a freestanding awning. So if I'm just swinging this out to get a little bit of shade for a beverage in the parking lot after a nice mountain bike ride, and the weather is prime, just sunny, I'd probably just let it be freestanding, set up my chair, do my thing, put it away real quick. However, if I'm pulling into camp and I'm planning on being there for the night, I'm gonna extend those legs because the last thing I want is for my expensive awning to get caught by the wind and turn into a sail. So just keep that in mind in terms of freestanding, but it's beautiful that they include these legs integrated. So you have that option to go either way. Additionally, there are just an insane amount of guy line points on all corners and center portions of the canopy to allow you to guide that down. It is included with the kit here too. Um, so you have a nice little baggie of accessories if need be. Additionally, on the inside of this awning canopy, you will notice there is a zipper track that runs all the way around the exterior. Yakima does sell accessory wall or canopy panels that you can either create a privacy wall on one of these corners or you can get some legs and make it a whole nother extension for uh, more protection from the elements or privacy with your camping rig here. Now this top is made from a waterproof vinyl ripstop material. Um, it has a cool topographical pattern to it. Um, the inside, you can still see that a little bit with the direct sunlight, um, but it is a nice waterproof material, which is a nice benefit. So not only are you getting sun protection, but if the weather does turn sour and you are in a smaller rig like this Go Fast Camper, you still can get out and uh, grab gear, hang outside um, in the uh, in the case that it's not necessarily raining sideways for you. To allow for that water to run off, there is a nice little peak 
up here in the center that simply folds up into place and provides a nice pitched roof for that water to truly be able to run off. Again, if you're out here in the inclement weather um, and it is raining, providing extra weight on your canopy, definitely fold those legs down. Who is the major shady for? Starting out, obviously, overlanders, truck campers, 270 degree awnings are nothing new for those folks. The Yakima Major Shady, however, is a great offering for them now from a very reputable brand like Yakima. They've been around for a long, long time and make a good product that everyone can trust. However, I see these as a great option for a lot of the low roof van builders out there as well. These really can provide you a nice expansive direction of shade. I also love that it gives you two sides of the rig for shade options. Sometimes that sun moves by the time you get all set up and you decide to go settle down in your camp. This is a nice option that you can kind of move with the shade a little bit more. And I do say specifically low roof fans, because as you saw, as I opened this awning, it did require me to get up close and personal with the actual framing of the awning and canopy to be able to extend it out. If this was a high roof van, I would be having to pull out a step ladder to be able to reach up high. Um, a low roof van, I can just simply reach up and grab it. However, in the high roof van world, I always would just recommend going the FEMA F80S F45S route. Uh, just because you have a crank arm, you can throw it up there and uh, extend it out just as fast as you can a, uh, a 270 degree awning in this sense. And when you're looking at similar square footage, that is really what matters. Additionally, this awning we're looking at here is the right hand version of this awning, meaning it swings around from the passenger side. They do also sell a left hand version, the LH which swings around from the driver's side and attaches to this rear passenger corner. So depending on your configuration, that's something to consider. I have a swing away bike rack, which swings away to the driver's side as it's open. So I wanted to be able to utilize this passenger side as much as possible. If you have experience or any questions on the major shady awning, we'd love it if you share those down in the comment section down below. Additionally, head over to outtherevans.com to find out more information on our full van conversions. Head over to shop out there vans to find accessories and products that might help fit your rig down the road. And as a reminder, there is an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below to find the Yakima Major Shady 270. Hit like and subscribe to see us in the next video and we hope to see you next time.